next grammar point is conjunct verbs. Hindi has a lot of verbs that consist of two components, a verb and a noun or an adjective. These verbs are called conjunct verbs. They together express an action. The main verb is usually karna. The concept of conjunct verb will be clear with examples. Phone karna, to phone, to make a phone call. Saaf karna, to clean. Nashta karna, to have breakfast. Intazar karna, to wait for. Let's take some example sentences. Rakesh apna kamra saaf karta hai. Rakesh cleans his room. Ladkiyan ghar mein nashta karti hain. The girls have breakfast at home. Many conjunct verbs, usually the one with a noun and a verb, go with postposition. It is similar to some English verbs that go with some specific preposition, such as to wait for, to listen to, to think about. The conjunct verbs should be memorized with the postpositions. Here are a few examples. Phone karna, to telephone, to make a phone call. It goes with the postposition ko. To telephone sister would be behen ko phone karna. The verb prem karna, to love, goes with the postposition se. That means to love Radha would be Radha se prem karna. Vichar karna, to think on, goes with the postposition par. Samasya par vichar karna, to think on a problem. And the last one, intazar karna, to wait for. It takes the postposition ka. So to wait for the bus would be bus ka intazar karna. Let's take some example sentences. Phone karna to phone to make a phone call to. As I said, it goes with the postposition ko. Ganesh Ram ko phone karta hai. Ganesh makes a phone call to Ram. Prem karna to love goes with the postposition se. Mera bhai us ladki se prem karta hai. My brother loves that girl. Vichar karna to think on. It goes with the postposition par. Hum shahar ki samasya par vichar karte hai. We think on, we discuss the issues of the city. Intazar karna, to wait for. The verb goes with the postposition ka. Hum professor ka intazar karte hain. We wait for the professor. <laughs>